Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day and today is Thursday the 9th and today was a gorgeous day outside. It got up in the 80s today, absolutely beautiful. Started off in the 60s, could not ask for better weather. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. So my plan for today, I got up, had a handful of things to get done. I was going to work on the house, I was going to cut the rotted paneling out, replace it all. Um, didn't get to that, so I uh, found out that um, there was some stuff going on at Universal I wanted to go check out, so I decided to hell with it, went over to Universal to take care of that instead. So went over there, um, hung out, had to get some tools anyway, had to go get an oil filter for my truck. Um, so I went ahead, went to Universal, met up with the guys and stuff, um, Jimmy and them, and hung out with them for a little bit, then basically headed on, uh, ended up periscoping, then found a couple people that spotted me for my periscope, and came and found me just kind of cool, just random people walking up to you. It's kind of an odd feeling at first, but it's like all cool. So um, hung out with them for a little bit, got to ride the new Jimmy Fallon ride, which was pretty interesting. It doesn't actually even open until April 6th, I believe, is the official opening. Get your ball, Bruce, get that ball. But um, went ahead and um, was, it had a soft opening on it, so kind of like a test run kind of ride. And got to ride it. Um, they've got a cool little weight process on it where instead of just queuing up in a line, you basically um, stand around a lobby of like the um, what would be the Tonight Show. And then you go upstairs into the secondary lobby with couches and stuff. So that's kind of interesting. And then from there you go and actually get to ride the ride. And it was not what I thought it was going to be. It's different. But hey, it's a ride. It's not bad. It's just different from what I was thinking it was going to be. So went ahead, got that done, went and hung out. Check out a couple little shows. Also went and hung out in Digallon Alley. Uh, for a while and basically um, saw a few places. I got a um, friend of mine's coming down. She's obsessed with um, Harry Potter. So I wanted to go check out a few of those extra spots to kind of make sure I knew um, kind of just a little back, you know, scenes and kind of time when I'm not wandering around getting lost when she's there with me. So hopefully that happens because I want her to see that she's super excited about seeing it and also going to read a book on the beach. So those are her two main goals for being in Florida for a week. So we'll see if that happens or not. Um, super is hoping that does. Um, I don't know if she's got the money for universal tickets. We'll see. Um, definitely um, very, very hopeful. I'm hoping she can get like a two-day pass. If she can get a three-day pass, it'd be badass. But at least a two-day pass for the... And it needs to be two parks because you get both things from um, Potter on both sides. So went ahead, um, hung out there, got done, decided to head back. Um, Instead of taking like I-4 back through, I thought I was going to drive around Orlando area, end up down by Camping World Stadium, and that is a hellhole down there. Like there is, oh my God, it's just not a good place. Traffic is horrendous, disgusting amount of traffic, it's hot, and bikes, you know, just, I don't know, just blowing the fan off the motor, blowing the heat all over me, it was not having a fun time. So I finally um, went ahead and said hell with it, got back on the main road, headed out, brought one of the older highways back in. Instead of driving um, interstate back, I like to take like 415 and different ones and, you know, 427 and stuff and highway one or up because it's just about better view so brought the bike back up finally got home stopped in at a Lowe's um, down there to buy some tools I needed to um, work on the house which will actually be tomorrow um, there was some idiot trying to sell me a fucking like home stereo system or some shit in the parking lot of like a white minivan like type thing I'm like dude go away go pawn your shit somewhere else and he was a dick so I basically told him to lick my ass because I can and what the hell when I told management they had some bum out there um, harassing customers in the parking lot and stuff, and he was like, "Yep, I'll go find them." We've had their, you know, we've had other complaints about it. So hopefully, I gave them the um, vehicle description, which nobody else ever gave them the vehicle description at all. They just said it was happening. So there sounds like they're going to try and put a stop to that because nobody wants to deal with that junk when you're out, you know, trying to go buy a saw blade. It's so stupid. So. Definitely, the guy's like, I told the guy, he's like, I'm not trying to sell, I was going to give it to you. I'm like, I'm on a motorcycle, asshole. I can't take an entertainment center. So, went ahead and said to hell with it. It's all good. Just, you could tell. It's one of those, those scam ass things. He's going to claim that he got his boss, sent him out to deliver some, and they put one too many on the van. It's just a racket that's been run around for years. People fall for it all the time. So, it is what it is. But anyway, um, other than that, got back home. The ride home took forever, which is a beautiful ride once I got out of um, Orlando, shitty part of Orlando, Castleberry area. I got back on the main roads and just had a beautiful road. Brought a road that I never rode before. Beautiful scenery. Um, just a great ride. Like, it's amazing. If somebody comes down here, motorcycles, and they want to go for a beautiful ride, let me know. I definitely, you could take you over there, and you would enjoy the hell out of that scenery. So, had a good time. Got back to the house. Um, power washed off the bike because I overfilled the tank. Going back onto the on-ramp for the damn gas all pour out the sides. It's a pain in the ass. So, Went ahead, got that cleaned up. Um, had a couple other things get taken care of around the house here. Karen got home like right shortly after that. I didn't even get the bike finished up, put away. Did get all my um, 
knobby balls for my claw machine. I got 500 knobby balls, which is just a ton of balls. Um, got a bunch of those aired up, put them in the machine. There's like 100 plus in that damn machine right now, I think. I had to look. I'm trading off 75 of them to another vendor that I know in the, um, the toy world, I guess you want to call it, or vending world. And he wants 75, I'm going to go get them to him tomorrow on trade for some parts I need for mine. Ended up um, having leftovers for dinner. Ended up um, <laughs> just airing those balls up took forever. Karen helped me some. We were throwing balls around, playing little, you know, dodgeball type stuff, just throwing stuff at each other. It was always fun. I was, th I'd blow them up, throw them in the basket, and she's got a big clothes basket trying to catch them. So I had a good time with it. So made a lot of fun out of it. But yeah, definitely had fun. Um, got it all taken care of. And she headed off to bed, and it was funny as hell because next thing I know, I walk in there and she's zonked out, like she's sleeping. So she, we didn't end up watching Netflix together at all, which is good because she needed the rest. So. I was up until like shit 1.30 in the morning just couldn't sleep for whatever damn reason. So it is what it is. But that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.